In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make shawarma wrap. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're making the shawarma wrap. For this recipe, you need two cups of flour, all purpose flour will do. You only need few ingredients for this. Then you need a pinch of salt, one tablespoon baking powder, and two tablespoons sugar. We're going to give this a good mix until it is well incorporated. Thereafter, you're going to add cooking oil, three quarter cup of cooking oil. I'm going to put the exact measurement in the description box below so you can see them. Then you are going to mix this very well until you see how the texture will be. You mix it very well until it is like this. Once it is like this, now you can you measure half cup of water. You're going to measure half cup of water and you're going to add a little of it. You're going to be adding this little by little until it forms a dough. The consistency of the dough shouldn't be too strong or too soft. It should be on a medium size. You can see how this is. It's not too soft. It's not too strong. You are going to knead this for some time. You will knead it for 10 to 15 minutes until it is stretchy. I already told you in my previous video on how you can test and see when your dough is ready to be used. That's when you are going to check to know to be sure that your dough is ready don't overwork your dough please remember that don't do not overwork your dough you're going to cut the dough into two equal halves and you start cutting into three depending on your measurements we're going to use scale to measure this to make sure that it is 80 gram we want 80 gram each for this recipe but if you don't have scale you can actually use your hand to way is just to understand just make sure that one is not bigger make sure everything is actually equal it is the equality that brings about the skill just to make sure everything is actually equal for the dough for this dough i'm using 80 gram each for one shawarma wrap but you can use 100 gram depending on how wide you want it and how big you want it but i'm using 80 gram for this so i'm going to measure each dough and make sure it is up to 80 gram and then we'll go to the next step This is after weighing everything and each dough here is 80 gram. Remember, you can make it 100 gram as well, but I wanted this to be just 80 gram because of the frying pan that I have is not that wide. Okay, so we're going to mold this into a round shape and put it like this, just like I'm doing. And you're going to cover this and allow it to rest for 30 minutes. 30 minutes allow it to rest this is after 30 minutes and this is how it looks this is what it looks like you are going to need each one of these you're going to add floor when you when you get to this stage don't be scared of the floor don't say our ah, floor is too much no no but it can be too much but you have to use your you know your discretion you know you have to minimize the way you use the floor okay so you are going to continuously spread it with your rolling stick now if you have enough space you have to go around and spread this round and round you i don't know how i'm going to explain that but since i'm not using that pattern in this particular video so you're going to just going to spread it like this with your rolling stick after that you're going to remove this there is another method i'm going to show you but you're going to remove it if you can do it like this look at the way it is it should be like this not thick not too thick not too thin 
okay look at the consistency of it now i'm going to show you another pattern you can use for a round shape of dough we're going to repeat the same process by using your rolling stick to spread it just like this you, you see you continuously spread it and spread it until it gets to this so once it gets to this stage you are going to please don't forget to always put in floor but don't you overuse the floor just minimize the way you put in floor so that it doesn't stick to your rolling stick after this you are going to take a big bowl that has a wider opening just like this one then you're going to flip it over and use it to cut the round shape from the dough you can see what i am doing with this particular one okay now after cutting it then you remove the excess dough you can see now this is round right this is round is it not this is round and in circle and in and on the right shape okay now look at look at this you are going to also put this aside and do the same thing to the rest of the dough thereafter you're going to use a non-stick pan non-stick pan don't add any oil you're going to put in the dough just like this just put the dough on the non-stick part just like this and allow it to cook for about three minutes you can use your hand to uh, to turn it or you can use your spatula just put it and allow it to cook for three minutes then flip it over and cook the other side for three minutes okay i'm going to drop a link of how you can also make this tortilla wrap with yeast instead of baking powder so i'm going to drop that once i make the video i'll, I'll drop the link in the description box of this video so this is how everything looks if you're here to subscribe to this channel please smash that subscribe button and subscribe turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified whenever i drop a new video see you in my next video bye